tracking yet another red flag warning. Every day, it seems like this summer, where we've been talking about the increased fire danger because of the weather. And well, today, no different. We have showers and thunderstorms, the threat of lightning and gusty winds, you know, heightens the fire danger out there. You can see the central mountains, certainly a lot of lightning along I-15, just to the west of Dillon, storming us up just south of Salmon, not too far from Chalice. I think Chalice, you just got a little shower, just moved through your area, and storming us over in Wyoming, a northwestern corner. Some of this will start to push towards the Snake River Plain, so there is a chance later this evening tonight we could see some of those showers pop up right over Pocatello, Blackfoot, Notto Falls. A chance, so just keep your eyes open late tonight. As it gets dark, get that camera ready. You might be able to shoot some beautiful shots of the lightning show out there, maybe uh, some video as well. You can see the moisture, most of it pushing up into Montana. Drier air settling over northern Nevada, so tomorrow should be a storm-free day for everyone, but maybe not necessarily storm free tonight, at least this evening for the Snake River Plain. There's a chance of some storminess. Low temperatures will be cooler than they la were last night by about 10 degrees in Idaho Falls. We're looking a low of around 48. Pocatello will drop down in the mid 50s. Showers and thunderstorms will be scattered this evening for the central mountains. Lows mid 20s once it clears out really nicely uh, overnight. Salmon will be 10 degrees warmer than Stanley and looks like low in Chalice almost 50. 44 expect in Island Park. Showers and thunderstorms will be hit and miss for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Yellowstone uh, 37 for low. Preston a lot warmer than that 37. Montpelier 10 degrees warmer than Yellowstone with a low of 47. We'll just say partly cloudy for the southeast corner. Not expecting any real threat of storminess uh, tonight. Now tomorrow should be storm free. Lots of sunshine we will be in the mid 80s in Montpelier. So less down a few degrees compared to where we were today. Malad City upper 80s. So we'll call it warm, very warm. Not real warm though at Island Park. That's comfortable. 77 for an afternoon high. Clouds and sunshine. And for the central mountains, oh, Lots of sunshine. In fact, probably the sunniest day we've had all week. 85 in Chalice, 82 for high in Salmon. Lots of sunshine for the Snake River Plain. Almost 90 tomorrow, 87 in Blackwood. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Temperatures just jump up a notch on Saturday. And then, wow, 70s and a bunch of wind. Then we warm up again. Highs will be in the upper 80s next Thursday. So a couple of bad hair days, Sunday and Monday, FYI. Idle Falls seven-day forecast. We warm up and then we cool down. 72 on Monday. Monday night, 39 degrees in Idle Falls. That's definitely fall-like. Teton area seven-day forecast. How about some cooler weather? 66. 29 Sunday night, 31 for low Monday night with a high of only 63 that day. Central Mountains. We're dry for the next seven days, and look at all that sunshine. We will cool off barely 70 on Sunday, and we'll be in the lower 40s for a few nights, a few mornings next week.